Hey, how's it going folks? This is Hellbent and today I'm going to release my newest update to my color picker script. Um, this is version 2.0. I'll go over the features. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description where you can get a copy of it. Uh, you don't have to download it. It's going to be in text form so you just copy and paste it into a new script. Save it, run it, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's go over the features of it. The uh, first feature is this window is set to be always on top but because I use this as a scripting tool and many of the other scripts that I create have an interface and those are also always set to on top so what I've done is I've made this to be able to sit on top of any window even if it's set to always on top so I'll, for example I'll pull out the old the old color picker um, this one this one here is set to always on top so if I click on this page it stays up on top but if I'm working on something that is set on top like this is I want to be able to still access the tool that I'm trying to use so this one here regardless of whether the window that it's on top is set to always on top it'll always make its way back on top okay that's the first thing uh, second thing uh, it's minimizable so if I want this out of my way, so I'm, if I'm done using it for a little bit and I just want to put it aside for the moment, all I have to do is right click on it. This will shrink it down to this little tab and then I can sit this wherever I want out of my way and then when I need it again, I can right click at it again and it will expand it back out. Right click, right click, right click, right click. Okay. Um, as for the mixer itself, it has RGB values and a grayscale value. Uh, so all you have to do is just click on the slider. Well, it's not really a slider, but uh, anyways, I click on the slider, select the amount of red I want, amount of green I want, and amount of blue I want, whatever, and it'll show me what color I have. Because I know that even though I have it, uh, each, each increment is one pixel tall, it still can be a little bit tricky to get the exact fine details like if I want to set it to let's say 200 it might be a little bit difficult to get exactly on 200 so what I've done is while I'm holding the left mouse button down if I press up and down it'll move up or down by one interval so if I want to go up two, I just press twice one two down twice down two. it also if I use the left and right arrows it'll continuously uh, go up or down so I can go up down continuously okay so that's for all the colors um, like I said the, then I have the grayscale same same deal press hold the right arrow move up left arrow down whatever once I have a color that I want I can clip it and now if I want to put it into my script all I have to do is just paste and it gets pasted into wherever I want to use that color. It also has every time I I'll skip that for the moment. I'll skip that for the moment. The next thing that I have is the ability to pick a color off the screen. So now if you're going to be if you have like a, if you notice that flashing lights causes you headaches or makes you dizzy or whatever, I suggest changing the window like maybe hit get color and then shrink it by right clicking it because other words what can happen is if I go to a program like like this um, and go to the color wheel the flashing colors over here might make you a little bit dizzy because it's gonna constantly update as I pick new colors once I've selected a color I want I press control that locks it in place and I'm good to go okay so that's mixing and getting a color from the screen the next thing it has is the ability to save up to 150 different colors. When I use the when I use the get color and then select the color I want, as soon as I press control, it's going to automatically update this edit field right here to that color. So let's say this one here. And now if I want to save this color for use tomorrow, next week, next year, I can hit add color, select any one of these boxes to add that color to it so if I'm working on a project maybe I'll just use a couple of lines like I'll put my color there get another color 
et cetera, et cetera. If I'm done with a color and I don't want that color on my palette anymore, I can either remove that color by hitting remove color and then selecting the color I want to remove, or I can just override it. So let's say if this blue one here, if I want to get rid of that, um, maybe I just want to replace it. Okay. Uh, if I want to clear every th my whole entire saved palette, all I have to do is I hit uh, press down on the clear all colors button and hold it for three seconds. You'll know that it's been three seconds because all the colors will disappear. So I'm going to hold it down, wait three seconds, and all the colors disappear. Okay, so that's the saved. The next thing that it has, um, I should also mention that in on top of the get color, when I select the get color, on top of it, adding it up to this edit field here, it also adds it to the mixer and it also adds it to my clipboard. So in my clipboard, if I come over here, um, so when I hit this get color, uh, let me pick a color. I'll pick that color. That color is now in my clipboard automatically. Um, da -da. Um, on top of that, there's also, I've added a randomized color. So there's two palettes you can create for randomized colors. I just um, pick the range of colors that I want. So let's say if I just want a, a bunch of random reds with no green, no blue. So I'll set the green and blue to zero, zero, and then hit generate, and I can generate a bunch of reds. If maybe I want to make some, put some green in that. So let's say maybe I want green to be ranged between 100 and 200. Generate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then I can do the same for another one. I, if I want to have a different field, I'll do this between green and blue. Generate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If I hit get color, that puts it into my mixer, and it also puts me it into the edit thing, so I can just come here and add that to my palette. Um, doo -doo -doo. So, like I said, I think I said if I clip this, I'll clip this color here. And I can use that color. I can clip the grayscale and put that in. Um, the with the with the get color, it'll automatically uh, create a grayscale for any color that I get. So, for example, if I pick, let's say, this blue here, this bluish green color here. This is the grayscale equivalent of it. So it takes the three values for the red, green, and blue, adds them up, and then divides it by three, and that gives me a grayscale value. I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, let me see. Da, 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 the keys. There is no hot keys. There is no exit button. In order to exit, you just either click down here and hit close window, or you can go into your whatever you call this and exit out of it. Um, da, da, I think I think that pretty much covers everything there. Uh, when you create the as soon as the first time you run this is going to create a text document with all the saved colors. It it starts off with all the colors being uh, seven seven seven. Let me see this color here seven 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 seven. Um, 150 of them, random colors. Um. Mixer. I think. I think. Yeah. I think that's everything. Uh, like I said, there's a link in the description to this paste bin page. Just copy the raw paste data, put it into a new script, run it, and you're good to go. Okay. Anyways, peace.